Suzanne takes you down to her place near the river. You can hear the boats go by. You can stay the night beside her, and you know that she's half crazy. But that's why you want to be there, and she feeds you tea and oranges that come all the way from China. Just when you mean to tell her that you have no gifts to give her, she gets you on her wavelength and she lets the river answer that you've always been her lover. And you want to travel with her, you want to travel blind, and you know that she can trust you because you've touched her perfect body with your mind. Jesus was a sailor when he walked upon the water, and he spent a long time watching from a lonely wooden tower. And when he knew for certain only drowning men could see him, he said all men will be sailors then until the sea shall free them. But he himself was broken long before the sky would open, forsaken almost human. He sank beneath your wisdom like a stone. And you want to travel with him, you want to travel blind. And you think maybe you'll trust him because he's touched your perfect body with his mind. Suzanne takes your hand and she leads you to the river. She is wearing rags and feathers. From the Salvation Army counters, the sun pours down like honey on Our Lady of the Harbor. And she shows you where to look among the garbage and the flowers. There are heroes in the seaweed. There are children in the morning. They are leaning out for love. They will learn that way forever while Suzanne, she holds the mirror. And you want to travel with her and you want to travel blind. And you're sure that she can find you because she's touched her perfect body with her mind.